right, what a sweetie. So a lot of you guys might have seen the show we did on the 1950 Hydroglide Model FL Riviera Blue original paint. Bikes decked out with all sorts of cool accessories. This is just how we like to find them here at the museum. But as you guys know, they're never done. So we were in the shop, uh, coming back from the shop the other day, walked through the museum and out of the corner of my eye, I saw the perfect addition to this bike. Now, as you guys saw, we pulled these out of the truck, one of these. Now this is uh, 1952, or excuse me, 1950, uh, Harley Davidson leather saddlebag. It's got the Harley Davidson uh, logo right there stamped into it. Uh, this one was in pretty good shape, needs cleaned up. The other one was ripped. So the other one, major restoration on the top of that bag. We're gonna try and bring it back we, as best we can. But as I'm going through the building the other day, these caught my eye. And you know, anytime we can pull stuff out of the exhibit right here at the museum, super cool stuff. These bags are like new old stock. It doesn't get any cooler than these. Beautiful leather, super cool Western style buckles. There's the Harley Davidson emblem, orange piping. The mounts are on them. We're gonna bolt them on right now. So both bags in there. One is as nice as the other guys. So five minute bolt on. It shouldn't take any time at all. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the finishing touches on the 50 FL. Chris, pop that thing up off its uh, off the side stand there. We're gonna bring it up. Uh, yep, up straight up. There you go. Yep. All right. Good deal. Here we are. Okay, 7 16 wrench in my pocket. And these things ought to go right on, guys, so fingers crossed. These are like finger tight, like he just took the bags off. So we ought to have acorn nuts, lock washers. Are there lock washers on there? No, there's not lock washers. So maybe they didn't run the lock washers. Um, okay, first bag, yes. Oh man, this is so cool. Beautiful leather straps. These bags may be NOS. They might they're, be. They're some of the best shaped ones I've ever seen. Stock. I've never seen a pair quite this nice. Oh my God. It's like they were made for this bike. Ah! <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, we'll have to restore those other bags and put them right back in the exhibit where these came from, but this bike is so nice. It, des it deserves these bags. It deserves the very best, don't it, Chris? Oh, man, look at how incredible this bag mounts up. Now, you can even see the imprint from the old chrome strip, uh, the old chrome uh, mounting plate there. And uh, what a setup, a little bit of torque. Wow, I am completely impressed that they bolted right on just like they're supposed to. Um, wow. Unbelievable. So this thing is about as decked out as you can get. Let's go ahead and give me a flashlight here if you could, Chris. Yep. We're gonna get the buckles put on so they don't flap around. Um, the thing about these, the leather is so soft and supple on these. So what we do is we go uh, around the back here. And do we want to go that way? Yeah, perfect. Can we go around the frame rail? And this just keeps them from, from flapping in the wind. Now, we've got a pretty nice uh, set here of, of uh, crash guards. It'll keep it from doing that anyway, keep it from bouncing around anyway, but Oh, wow, just amazing. Beautiful. Oh, wait a second, here we are. Excuse me. Wow, very nice. Okay, there's one, and I believe there's one on the back. Oh, look at these bags, man. Incredible, this one goes around the back of the fender brace here. So, same thing, right over on this side. Uh, we'll go underneath and come back around the top there. Wow. It's like these bags have never really even been mounted. Um, oh, just fantastic. Soft leather. 
Wow. Just freaking beautiful. Okay, tighten these bad boys up. We'll get everything. I got newspaper in there right now to give them, to give them shape. Um, might even add some newspaper. Uh, we'll add some more paper just to keep them uh, nice and full. One. Yeah, check those western buckles out. Um, what you've got are the, all that, you know, decorative. You got your spoons, uh, one, two, three, four, all sorts of buttons all over them. Uh, and then the western buckles. A lot of the guys uh, told me they thought these were only uh, 49 and uh, 48 and 49, but undoubtedly the pair over there had the western buckles. So, um, what an awesome addition to this motorcycle. Guys, this is about the last of the last that we need to do to this bike. And then uh, I think I'll be riding it home tonight. Here we are again. How does it bolt on? Oh my God. That is what you call perfection. They're so nice. Oh, I don't even know what to think about it, man. It's just oh, amazing. Now, I've never been much of a saddlebag guy, uh, but when you got a bike like this, all dressed up and ready, uh, bolts and, and mounting uh, the whole assembly was really ready to just put together so um, we're going to go ahead and clean the other ones up uh, put them back in the wheels through time exhibit and these bags have found their brand new permanent home uh, on this 1950 hydroglide Fantastic. Covers up those white walls too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Get this one. Uh. Yeah, I agree. There's like there's no no crack in those straps at all. It's <sighs> like they've never been never been on They're a bike. Soft, supple, and like easy to easy to work. Um, it doesn't happen like this very often. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave those a little loose back here. And then the last one up in front, a little bit of light and uh, one, two, go from underneath. Yeah, you can see where the bag was on the, the frame, but that was that last pair of saddlebags. But this is just, just remarkable. There we go, guys. It's official. Let's tighten these up, get these straps buckled. Wow. Dressed up to the max. Just beautiful. Oh, I cannot believe it. They look so good. It's like Christmas. Get this one here, we'll get a little bit of extra. Yep. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at those. Fantastic. Ah, oh, the view. Guys. Super cool, 1950 FL, ready for the road. Those bags just set that thing off, guys. Take this back outside, put it in the sunlight, and uh, enjoy it a little more. Thanks for tuning in, y'all.